There were times in my life when I didn't want to deal with the subject. I tried to ignore racism, similar to a headache that you know it will go away if you just wait long enough. But that was misconception. Racism does not go away. If we don't confront it, it will spread. The big problem with racism is that there's no vaccine for it. There are no antibiotics that you can simply take. Simply take. It's like an extremely dangerous and contagious virus. It is emboldened by our indifference and inaction. The world continues to witness deeply unpleasant acts during sport events, including during football matches. They have included insults, offensive chants, Nazi salutes, petitions against hiring certain players, and even systematic denial of opportunities to play or join football teams based on color or nationality. These deplorable acts of bigotry and prejudice have no place in the 21st century. They are an affront to human rights. This means that event organizers should provide secure sporting grounds where acts of racism are clearly outlawed. At the very least, they must ensure that any racist act is met with prompt and decisive action. There must be accountability for racist offenses. Je pense qu'il est important de dire les choses simples. Le racisme, le racisme est inacceptable. C'est un crime qui n'a aucun place sur le terrain de football ou lors d'un événement sportif, quel qu'il soit. Bien que le racisme soit une mauvaise chose et que nous nous les condamnions, il perdure et continue à détruire notre humanité commune. This is the gravest of the subjects and is one that FIFA treats with the utmost sincerity and utmost urgency. Nothing speaks more of injustice than the scourge of racism and intolerance in our world. It is a vile, destructive force. UEFA has led the fight against prejudice and hate in European football. Zero tolerance for racism and discrimination has been and is our policy. And during my career I faced racism and um, I always said that the best answer is ignorance. Try to ignore that kind of, uh, of people at the stadium. But it is a difficult situation to deal with and, um, and that's why I think um, I'm really proud and really happy to be here today because it's a really important day and uh, try to send the message enough is enough. But we have to do something and we have to fight against it. But it's very important to not fight against it with anger because then we do something bad as this, these people are. We have to fight against it with smiling, with humor and with positivity. The position of FIFA uh, about uh, racism and discrimination in general is very clear. It is one of zero tolerance. It is one which is uh, very much embedded in our regulations, in, in the nature, in the DNA of our organization.